Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up WhatsApp templates with opt-out options. So I have an event management company and I have the details of all my leads in my Google Sheets. Now I want to send a confirmation message to all these leads on WhatsApp whether they are going to attend my event or no. Therefore, I want to send a template message to all these leads with quick reply buttons which contains yes or no options. And to automate this entire process, I am going to set up a connection between my Google Sheets and WhatsApp in search of Way, that automatically a template message will be sent along with the quick reply buttons to all the leads without any manual efforts. So I'm going to automate this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect without any coding or programming skills. Pabli Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So in trigger, we are going to take Google Sheets and in action, I'm going to take WhatsApp Cloud API with the help of which I'm going to create this template along with quick reply automatically. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up opt-out or unsubscribe link for WhatsApp template message. So I have an event management company and I have the details of all my leads in my Google Sheets. So I'm going to organize an event recently for which I want to send a template message to all these leads from taking the confirmation from them that whether they are going to attend that event or not. For this, I'm going to send a template message to all my leads along with quick reply button which contains yes or no options. So today I'm going to tell you step by step how to create the template for sending messages to all your leads or customers along with quick reply button to set up opt out or unsubscribe link. Okay, so in the earlier video, I've already told you about how you can delete the existing rows from Google Sheets whenever you're going to receive the negative response from WhatsApp. So in that video, I've already sent the template message to all my leads. And as soon as I'm going to receive the no response, I have deleted the Google Sheets row for that same lead. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I have created that template message for sending to all my leads. Okay. If you want to learn how you can delete the existing rows from Google Sheets whenever you're going to receive the no response from your leads or customers on WhatsApp, then you can check out my previous video as well. I'm going to attach the link of that video in the description of this particular video. Okay, so now without wasting much time, let's get started. Here, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API to create a template message. And I'm going to tell you how you can create the template message along with a quick reply button for sending to your leads. Now, here I want to send the message to all the leads which I have in my Google Sheets in the customized format, okay? For this, I'm going to create an automation. How I'm going to do that with the help of Pabli Connect. So what I'm going to do, I will simply connect my Google Sheets and WhatsApp Cloud API in such a way that automatically the template which I'm going to create in WhatsApp Cloud API will be sent to all my leads which I have in my Google Sheets. Okay, and this we are going to do without any coding or programming skills. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. And this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect where we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. So first of all, it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So let's give a name over here. Setting up WhatsApp templates with opt-out options. Okay. After giving the name here, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I have already created a folder with the name as WhatsApp Marketing Automation. I have selected that and now let's click on Create. As we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So as I already told you that Pabli Connect works on these two principles, trigger and actions. So basically trigger and actions are the main concepts or the main building blocks on which the entire automation works. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow. But but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose here our objective is to send WhatsApp template message along with opt-out or opt-in links to all the clients or to all the leads. Okay, so I have all the details of these leads in my Google Sheet. So I will have to connect it with Pabli Connect. I want that whenever I'm going to receive the response from Google Sheets, that means whenever a new data will be added in our Google Sheets, the response should be captured automatically over here in Pabli Connect. 
so for that let's suppose we are going to take google sheets in our trigger and we want to send template message with the help of whatsapp cloud api so we are going to take whatsapp cloud api in our action and here we can clearly see that when we are going to receive the response from google sheets that means when the new row is added in google sheets then only the message is sent to that same lead on whatsapp otherwise no so action is clearly following what the trigger commands okay so after understanding the concept of trigger in action let's start creating the workflow step by step first of all we have to select our trigger application our trigger application over here will be google sheets so let's select that after selecting the trigger application we also have to select the trigger events so our trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row as we have selected our trigger event we can see that a webhook url is provided to us along with some instructions we need to follow these instructions step by step to connect our google sheets account with pabli connect okay so the webhook url is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from google sheets towards pabli connect we have already copied that and now i'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do so we have to go towards our google sheets account here this is my google sheet and this is the spreadsheet which i have created with a name as leads data so these are all the leads which i have for my event management company basically i have received these leads let's suppose i'm running an ad campaign on my facebook page for my event management company and i have received all these leads from facebook lead ads okay so i want to send them a template message whether they are going to attend my event or not along with quick reply buttons now for that we have to go towards extensions and here we can find the option of add ons when we are going to click on get add ons it has taken us towards google workspace marketplace now here we have to search for pabli connect webhooks so we have selected that and basically pabli connect webhook is the add on which we need to install in google sheets to connect it with pabli connect as you can find i have already installed this add on so i'm just going to cross this and once you will install the add on for the first time you also have to refresh your spreadsheet so that you will be able to find pabli connect webhooks option under extensions as we can find the option let's go towards initial setup and basically to connect our google sheets with pabli connect we have to perform an initial setup in which we need to enter two details webhook url and the trigger column so first of all we have pasted the webhook url which we have copied from pabli connect and now the turn is of trigger column now the concept of trigger column says that whenever the data in the spreadsheet will be added up, up to this particular column the entire row will be quickly sent towards pabli connect it is given over here as well the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent to the webhook url so whenever we are going to add a new row in our spreadsheet up till our trigger column automatically the entire row will be sent towards pabli connect okay so in the background you can find that i have three columns c is my last column so c will be my trigger column over here whenever a new lead will be added in this particular spreadsheet up till the phone number that means up till c column then the response of that entire row should be quickly and instantly sent towards pabli connect so here i'm going to enter c as my trigger column and now let's click on send test button to send the test response of this current lead towards pabli connect so the test data of the lead is sent let's click on submit and the initial setup is configured successfully so let's just cross this we will move back towards pabli connect and here we can see that yes we have received the response already in the response we have received all the details this is our trigger column c which we have entered spreadsheet name spreadsheet id sheet name sheet id row index row index is the number of row in which the data is added so we have received the response of this current lead which is added in row 2 so we have received two as row index this is the phone number name and the email of the lead so because we have received all this data this means that our connection between google sheets and pabli connect is successful now we have to do one more thing we have to go towards google sheets once again and because our objective over here is that whenever we are going to add new row as well in our google sheets the response should be keep on sending for that we have to go towards extensions pabli connect webhooks and this time we have to click on the send on event button as we have done that we have made sure that now whenever we are going to add a new row in our spreadsheet the response will be keep on sending towards pabli connect now our objective is to send the template message along with quick reply buttons of yes and no to these leads okay for that first of all we have to create the template i'm going to take you towards whatsapp cloud api and here i'm going to show you how you can create the template your own template okay so first of all to create the template you have to set up your whatsapp cloud api account and then under metafor developers you will find app dashboard of whatsapp cloud api so this is api setup after coming on api setup of whatsapp cloud api when you will scroll down here we will find the option of to create your own message template click here so when you will click on this hyperlink it is going to take you towards the template section of whatsapp cloud api these are all the templates which i have already created for different purposes now to create the opt out template we are going to click on this create template button and now it is asking us that for what purpose you want to create this template i'm going to select utility over here because i'm sending this message for the utility and now after selecting the category i'm going to give the name to this template so i'm going to give the name as let's say opt out template 
okay i have given the name you have to make sure that you are going to enter the name in the small letters only and now the next it is asking us for the language you have to select the language for sending the message here i'm going to select english language you can select any language according to your requirement and now after selecting all these details let's click on continue now the main part of the template first of all we have to select the header okay so in the header whatever you're going to select it is going to be shown in the bold in the headline of the message okay so here i'm going to select the header let's suppose as text if you want you can also attach an image or video along with this message in the header and now i'm going to enter the text of the header let's say as registration for sparkle events and you can see that it is showing up in the bold now we have to enter the main body which you want to send along with this message so here i'm going to enter the body as hey and because i want to send this message to all my leads in the customized form therefore i'm going to enter the name of each and every lead over here but you must be thinking that how i'm going to do that for each and every lead i'm going to do that with the help of variable so i'm going to apply a variable over here and as soon as we have applied a variable now whatever we are going to add over here in this place of variable the data will keep on sending automatically with each and every new response okay so let's suppose i'm going to enter name of the user name of the lead over here so, so the name will be replaced each time with a new response in this way i'm going to send this message to all my leads along with their own name in the customized form so you can also very easily add the variables as much variables as you want so that you will be able to send the message in the customized format according to your choice okay now i'm going to enter the main message hey we have received your response for the event registration please confirm your availability for the same by clicking on yes or no button regard sparkle events sparkle events is the name of my company so i'm going to send this message for taking the confirmation whether the leads are going to attend my event or not so therefore i have created this message template now here after entering the message i'm going to apply the quick reply button over here before that we have to enter the body field over here in this field we have to provide the values the dummy values which we are going to use in place of the variables okay so i have used only one variable and that is for name i'm going to give a dummy name over here just a sample value and now we'll move forward now here in the bottom we have the option of button so let's add the button over here we will click on this add a button option and here we have multiple options of button quick reply buttons or call to action buttons currently because i want to add quick reply button so i'm going to select custom over here we can customize this quick reply button according to our choice and quick reply basically means that when the customer or when the person to whom we are going to send this message is going to click on this button we are going to receive the response automatically okay so it is asking us for the button text i am going to enter yes over here so i am going to add two quick reply buttons first option will be for yes and the second one will be for no and now i am going to add one more button and that will be for no okay so we have added the quick reply buttons so we have applied quick reply buttons for yes and no in this way basically we are going to receive the response of confirmation where they are interested in attending the event or not okay so this is yes this is no this is the whole message preview so we have successfully created this template now we are going to click on submit and as we have completed the template we also have to send it for approval and once it will be approved we can use this template then in order to send multiple template messages to all our leads it is in review status now let's wait for a few minutes and we will see that automatically it will be approved okay now we will go back towards pabli connect and here we will wait for a few minutes until then let's connect our whatsapp cloud api account with pabli connect so let's click on this add action step button here we are going to select whatsapp cloud api and now you will select the action event that will be send template message because we are sending a template message let's click on connect from the given options i am going to go with add new connection to build a new connection with whatsapp cloud api account now in order to build a new connection we have to provide three details over here token phone number id and whatsapp business account id so from here we are going to find all these details for that first of all we have to set up our whatsapp cloud api account as i already told you and then we will find all these details under meta for developers so this is meta for developers okay this is app dashboard of whatsapp cloud api under api setup from the left side you will find all the details so this is the access token this is phone number id and this is whatsapp business account id so first of all i'm going to copy this phone number id and we will move back towards pabli connect and paste it over here in this field now the next is whatsapp business account id let's paste it over here as well and finally we will copy the temporary access token and paste it over here okay so we have pasted all the details now let's click on save 
and with this WhatsApp Cloud API account is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So let's move further. Here we have to select our template name, language code. Okay, we have to select the template ID and recipient phone number. So we are going to wait for two more minutes and we will see that automatically the template which is in review status will be approved. Okay. And yes, here we can find that after a few seconds, the status of this template is also approved. Now I'm going to go back towards Pabli Connect and here I'm going to click on refresh fields. And as we've done that, we can see that template name is automatically selected over here in this field with the name as opt out template. And as soon as the template name is selected, language code and template ID is also selected over here. So we have to move forward towards entering the recipient mobile number. In this field, we have to enter the number on which we want to send this message. So we want to send the message to our Facebook leads and we have already received the number of our Facebook lead in our earlier response. So we will simply use mapping over here. So mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details we want to map the number let's select that and it is mapped over here so when we have mapped this number it has become dynamic so now it is going to change and replace with each and every new response that means now whenever we are going to receive a new response from google sheets and the details of a new lead automatically the number is going to be replaced from this field with a new number of that new lead and in this way we are going to automate the entire process of sending whatsapp template message to all the leads with the help of now here it is asking us for the body field in this field we have to enter the values which we want to use in place of the variables okay the variables which we have used in the template i want to use the name of each and every lead in place of the variable therefore i'm going to simply map the name of the lead i have done that and now when we are going to click on save and send test request button we are going to receive the response on whatsapp but here i have used all the dummy phone numbers in my spreadsheet therefore to show you how the real message is received i'm going to enter a real phone number over here and now i'm going to click on save and send test request button as we have run that, we can see that we have received the response over here and the message is received over here as accepted. That means the message is sent on the number which we have entered over here. So let's go and check on WhatsApp whether we have received the message or not. And yes, we can find that we have received the message over here. Registration for Sparkle Events. Hey, current lead, the name is automatically added over here. We have received your response for the event registration. Please confirm your availability for the same by clicking on yes or no button regard Sparkle Events. Here we can see the options are given yes or no. So according to their choice, the lead can select the option over here. If they are going to select no, then we are going to receive the response that they are not interested. Now, our objective is to send this message in the customized format to all the leads which we have in our Google Sheets. For that, what we have to do, we have to go towards our extensions option once again, Pabli Connect Webbooks. And this time we have to click on this send all data button. As we have done that, now automatically the message will be sent to all the leads which we have in our Google Sheets. And also because we have selected send on event option. So when we are going to add a new row also in our spreadsheet, the message will be sent in the customized format to that same lead as well. So now because I have used my phone number in the workflow, therefore I'm going to receive the messages for all these leads on my number so let's go and check on whatsapp once again whether we have received a message for all these leads or not and yes here we can see that we have received a message for all the leads okay this is for new lead demo lead dummy lead and the current lead this means that our workflow is perfectly successful now what i'm going to do i'm going to add a new row as well over here in my spreadsheet let's say this time the name of the lead is smart lead i'm going to enter a random email and a random phone number over here. So as we have added the row, let's go and check whether we have received the message on our WhatsApp for this smart lead or not. Here we have received the message for smart lead as well. This means that our workflow which we have created is perfectly successful and it is running perfectly fine. So let's summarize what we have done here in the workflow. We have taken two simple steps, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken Google Sheets and in action, we have taken WhatsApp Cloud API. And we have created a template for sending the messages to all our leads along with quick reply so that we will receive the quick response from our leads whether they are interested in attending my event or not. In this way, you can very easily create this automation according to your use case as well. This was just an example of event management company, but you can create the opt-out templates for all your needs for receiving a confirmation from your clients or you, if you want to send this message to your customers for placing an order or whatever you want. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations